Hi, this video provides an overview of the Coastal Vulnerability Library. For more information, please consult the Deliverable 2.2 Library of Coastal Vulnerability Indicators, available on the RISCIT website. Different methods are proposed in the library. Indeed, data availability and quality varies from one country to another. Method A use appropriate vulnerability indicators that already exist in a specific country or region. They usually nationally produce indicators or generic indicators. If these indicators are not suitable or not available, then you will have to produce your own indicators. There are two options to do so. Transferring an indicators from one location to another or creating new indicators. In this case, within the library, you will find method to develop your own indicators. Just to give you an overview of the library contents, the library provides in vulnerability indicators for assets, such as float depth damage curves or building collapse matrix, or erosion indicators. For the population, methodology are also proposed to develop your social vulnerability indicators as well as developing a risk to life vulnerability indicators. The way of assessing vulnerability for ecosystem varies from one ecosystem to another. Therefore, the library provides different methods and indicators considering a different type of coastal ecosystem such as sand dunes, pine woods, woodland, salt marshes, or crops. The library also proposes a methodology to assess the systemic vulnerability of network. This vulnerability can be generic and are case study specific. A five-step approach is proposed in the library to conduct your survey. First, you have to approach stakeholders in order to understand the system and to collect data. This data should be used to produce a table listing the key components of a network, their capacity, their potential exposures, their sensitivity, but also information about the role of the asset within the network, such as its uniqueness. Could it be could you use surrogate measures? Is their dependency? and how important are the assets for the whole system. The library provides examples to support your assessment on critical services such as electricity and water, transport network, but also on business supply chain. Finally, the library proposed a list of disaster risk reduction measures and methodologies. Four options are proposed modifying an existing indicators, such as transforming a depth damage curve to represent the presence of resistance or resilience measure, reducing the value of the indicator output, such as using a percentage reduction for a reference value, or recalculating an input value, or selecting another alternative indicator which is more appropriate and representative of the DRR. 